Hello, my name is Steve Wilkinson and I'm Head of Chemical Engineering here at the University of Chester. Thanks very much for your interest to study with us. A chemical engineering degree, as you probably know by now, is a strong brand that is very attractive to employers. When you graduate, you'll have learned a broad set of skills that will enable you to work in many different roles and many different industries. For example, chemical engineers are currently working to uh, genetically modify cells to produce the next generation of life-saving drugs and other chemical engineers are working at a much bigger scale to produce um, to develop carbon capture technology to uh, capture flue gas from um, uh, power stations in order to produce clean energy without um, uh, adding to global warming. So there's just two examples of the sort of areas that chemical engineers are getting involved with. Very exciting. Um, an important thing to say right now is that our degrees here at Chester are accredited by the ICME, which is the Institution of Chemical Engineers. This is the professional body that governs the discipline of chemical engineering in the UK and around the world. And in fact, that's the reason why chemical engineering degrees around the UK are quite similar in terms of their content. Chemical engineering can be considered, can be considered to be similar in that respect to medicine where there are just certain things you need to know in order to graduate with a degree in that subject. In this short video, I'd like to give you some key facts about studying chemical engineering and what you might do in a typical day. I'll then talk about a few of the things that make us a bit different compared to other universities. And I'll finish by describing your journey with us from your very first year uh, to the time that you graduate three or four years later. The first key fact I'd like to cover about chemical engineering or studying chemical engineering is that you need A-levels or equivalent qualifications in both maths and chemistry. Chemical engineering is a challenging subject, but we will support you to succeed in your assessments, which will be exams and coursework, similar to what you've done at school. Um, the maths that you've done at school will be extended um, to solve useful problems for example, you've done differentiation and integration in maths A-level. You'll be extending that and then applying it to solve useful problems in chemical engineering. Equally, for chemistry, you'll be applying that for useful problems. So chemical engineers are engineers, not scientists. So they'll take results from chemistry and they'll use those to scale up a process, to design a process, to make a useful product. The second key fact is that you can choose to do a three-year BEng bachelor's degree or a four-year MEng master's degree. This is the same um, for most universities that offer chemical engineering. But the key thing is that the first two years of those degrees are exactly the same. So in fact, you can delay your decision as to which one you're going to do until the start of your third year. Many employers prefer an MEng degree because this has an extra level uh, of maturity, an extra year of studying, um, and this helps you quickly become a chartered engineer. A chartered engineer is the holy grail of professional chemical engineering, whereby um, you're recognized by the ICME, the Institution of Chemical Engineers, uh, at uh, 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 meeting their requirements. That might happen between four and eight years after you graduate. So actually, even though you've got your chemical engineering degree, you'll go and work in industry and you'll keep um, uh, getting evidence of your uh, of learning new skills on the job, which you can then use to get your chartered status. The three year BEng degree um, is an option for some students who are in a hurry to get a job. They don't want to do the fourth year. Uh, or also students that might want to go on to do another year uh, somewhere else to do a master's. And our third year BEng graduates also get very good jobs. Typical starting salaries are between 25 to 30,000 pounds per year for our students who graduate. What does a typical student day look like? Well, um, a student will have about four to five hours of teaching. So there are more gaps in the timetable than you would get at school. Um, that teaching might be lectures, uh, it might be solving problems, perhaps in small groups, uh, in tutorials, or you might um, have a hands-on laboratory practical session, or even a session using engineering software to build and solve a computer model, which is a very important part of modern engineering nowadays. 
Other sessions that you might have during the day would be uh, a group session perhaps with your personal tutor every so often. The personal academic tutor is the person who looks after your well-being. Um, another session you might have is a career skills session. They're available as optional sessions. Or you might just have a one-to-one -one, um, short session with a member of staff um, if you've asked to get some extra help on a topic. So what makes the University of Chester a bit different when it comes to studying chemical engineering from other universities? Well, first of all, we're quite a new department. Uh, we're coming to the end of our sixth year of teaching. So we have uh, new teaching facilities and modern interdisciplinary courses. Um, for example, you'll get to work in your first year on group projects with other types of engineers, for example, mechanical engineers and scientists, for example, chemists and physicists. Interdisciplinary uh, learning is something that is very uh, well thought of by the professional bodies and we designed the new courses to have that in. Um, secondly we're quite small so we knew we're also quite small as a chemical engineering department we only have about 30 students in each year which means we've got quite a few staff um, around to help students in small groups. Staff get to know students and we're able to support you throughout your studies. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, as a, as a differentiating factor for Chester, we're very strong on student placements. We support students to do summer placements, 12 month placements, and all our students do an industrial placement at the end of the second year. This means that all of our students have valuable chunks of work experience that they can put on their CV to help them secure good permanent jobs when they graduate. So as well as passing exams, uh, and doing well uh, in the scores on your coursework, it also looks very good on your CV to have significant chunks of work experience, which is what we'll give you. Um, and so to finish, I'd like to take you on a student journey. If you came to Chester, let's suppose that you don't quite make our entry requirements, but we'd give you the option to do an extra foundation year to build up your confidence before entering the first year of our, of our degree programme. Most people come straight in in the first year, but there is an optional foundation year if you need it. In the first two years, you'll learn the underpinning science and the core skills and take part in group exercises and field trips to local companies, as well as the normal lectures learning the theory uh, and the core skills. You'll have at least uh, one placement in your first two years and will help you develop your CV. Or perhaps you might take a year out in industry which is a really good option uh, for your future career. In the third year, after the first two years, in the third year, you'll do a major design project and learn everything else that you need to leave our doors as a professional engineer. For example, you'll do the crucial areas of safety and sustainability in the third year. And there are lots of jobs in those areas. Finally, if you stay on for the MNG year, the fourth year, you will learn about further advanced topics and you'll complete a major research project with an industrial focus. And in that research project, you will answer a question that we don't know the answer to. And that gives you a high level of maturity that is really sought after by employers. And if everything goes well on your journey, it will end with graduation, a good degree, lifelong friends, a good job and the start of a successful career. So, thanks for listening. Uh, please visit the Chemical Engineering website for more information on the course and also on the teaching staff, who, by the way, all of us, all the teaching staff, have formal teaching qualifications. You can also find my email address there if you have any further questions. Thank you for listening.